What's going on ladies and gents, welcome back to That's Us Gaming, my name's Rob and this will be episode 34 of the Borderlands 2 Fresh Playthrough. So as always, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, uh, right, well we finished that, didn't we? Yeah, we're going to continue the story mission. Uh... Oh. Actually, let's just do this. We're going to nip to the dust. Before we go, though, first things first. My weapon machines will fix that for you. Right, what am I not using here? I must have duplicates of stuff. Ah, okay. I just got the hail, didn't I? That's right. Uh... Actually, I'm just going to keep it. I've yep, I'm going to keep it. Check back later. Be careful. Hmm. Uh, sorry, ladies and gents. I'm just trying to. Reduce my inventory. I don't like having too much stuff. I find the more stuff you have, the harder it is to choose between things. I know that sounds a bit weird, but genuinely. Okay. Let me know if anything I've got quite a few crows of things, what with this SMG, the hail. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And I know that's more damage. The bandit over the Hyperion. Well, I would choose Hyperion every time. So, that can go. And then we'll keep that because, you know, it's corrosive. Obviously, we're keeping that unless there's a better one in here. No, we just checked it there. So, ammo up. Okay. And then we got to go to... The dust, I believe it is. Well, let's say it is. I know it's the dust. Do uh, swap that. Nope. Oh. Right, so we'll just quickly check these vendors as well. Mainly. Use health. See you real soon, I'm sure. Don't have okay. too much fun. Yep, the dust. Okay, uh, so for those of you who saw my top five worst and top five best places to visit in the game, you will know that this is my favourite place to go. And look what we have over there. So you straight away in that box is going to be a Gwen's head, oh, which is a Dal pistol, and that has that will always spawn on this map in five different areas, uh, and this is just one of the areas. So if ever you come in and there's that cardboard box there, Gwen's head will be in that box, and obviously it's a hey, reference to the film to Seven, no, where Brad Pitt repeatedly says, "What's in the box? What's in the box?" and it turns out to be his wife's head. I don't think these vendors are going to be any good, simply because they're quite... See, all these high capacity... The pangolin shields are all high capacity, but they reduce your max health, which... It's not worth it. Because if they do manage to destroy your shield, you've got like, literally no health to work with. Check my junk, yard. I'm pretty sure I got some old emblems lying around somewhere. Oh yeah, we've got to get the emblems first, haven't we? Mm -mm. Grab this one first, because we got to come back. So, oh, where am I going? <laughs> I'm straight past it. Man, those hoodunks are going to be so pissed. They'll regret not killing me when I was a baby even more. 
Oh, missed that. Okay, so now we grab a car, head out to the speedway. Don't need to grab that. And the vehicle is just having these voices. So you just come down here. And you pop the dynamite over here. You can see that. And then. Kinda gotta get out the way. That's gonna explode. And we just park the car here. God, I love Hyperion guns. Okay, so you basically you come in. There's some nice new vendors here that we can check. Nope. Check the grenades. Nope. Okay. And you put the emblem up there. And then we have to go somewhere else now. <laughs> Killing it with a hail. Come on, come back. I really want to kill this thing with a hail now, so that's something I'm uh, going to come back to me. I tell you what. She wasn't having none of that. So, yeah. Good. Good. Why don't you go to the Holy Spirit's bar? I'm just going to kill her with you. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we need to go back to Overlook now. Because this Holy Spirit's bar that we've got to go and sabotage is there. Basically, we're just starting a war between two different uh, families the Hodunks and the Zaffords. That doesn't happen every day. Okay, that's enough. Messing around with that. Let's go to Overlook. What's that up there? So, uh... Well, not bad XP. Quite surprised by that. Too much about this. Ah, vehicle. Actually, you know what? And he just jumped over me. Quickly kill it using the guns on the vehicle itself. Right. Let's get to. Look. Uh, uh, uh. There. Audio. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the missions that are here, one of them. Ugh. Oh. Oh, that mission there, ladies and gents. I mean, we're going to do it because we're going to complete every single mission in this game. At least through the uh, f normal playthrough, but... Oh, that is a nightmare of a mission. And the reason it's a nightmare of a mission is because the aim of the... Um, the aim of the mission is to, is to kill a hundred bandits. But kind of like a side mission type thing, like an optional thing, which I've tried to... I've, I think I've done it once before. But it's to kill 25 with corrosive damage, 25 with shock damage, 25 with fire damage, and 25 with, uh, I think it's explosive damage, and it's not easy, especially when you've got cloud kill on. Uh, so you could respect your, your stats. Uh, but yeah, I just tend to, with that mission, I just tend to go through and kill the 100. One of my favourite lines coming up, ladies and gents. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm waiting for him to say we got to put the thing down. Ready? One of my favourite lines coming up in this entire game. What's going on out there? Piss on my eyes. Is that the whole dunk emblem I see? Piss on my eyes. 
Piss on Max. I don't know why anyone would say piss on Max, but there you go. Okay, we've got to go in here now and see uh, Mick Zafford. If this... Right, this guy going to get out of the way at all, mate. going to move so I can get in. Thank you. All right, little Easter egg, ladies and gents. They did this in the pre-sequel as well. Whether it was in the first game, I'm not sure. Over here, chair with the teddy bear on it. Spin it. Keep spinning it. And eventually... Oh, yeah, of course. Why would it work this time? Okay. Normally what happens is money comes out of that. And it's happened every other time except this one. Don't know why it's not working now. Anyway, got to speak to this guy. If he ah, still. a new recruit! Welcome to the Zafford family. You didn't see the bastard who destroyed my distillery, did you? No, I didn't, mate. Like, didn't see him. Uh, he definitely didn't look like me, put it that way. Why isn't this thing giving money? That's the first time that's ever happened. <laughs> oh, well, there Damn you go. It. It's dry. Those hodons destroyed my distillery. That's it. Oh, the while we're here, I will show you now you vault the vault Let's symbol. Talk. The smallest vault symbol vault. in the game. Oh, just Jamaica. check this. I think of decency in there. Right, so in here, ladies and gents, on that wall there is a vault symbol. Can you see it? Yeah, it's right there. That is the smallest vault symbol in the game. And it's the only one in this area. So you can collect that for Cult of the Vault. But, yeah, it took me quite a, quite a while to find that one first. First time round. I knew there was a vault symbol in here somewhere. I didn't know where, and yeah, it's only because I happened to be over here looking like this, and it came up like that, discover, and I was like, oh, there it is. But yeah, there you go, smallest one in the game. Right, okay, sorry, took too much time to explain that. That's worth 632, so I'm buying that. This is worth a lot of money. So the first thing you can do, sell that. Oh, we're going to sell the Gwen's head. Don't need that. Selling that, selling that. Anything else I picked up? Okay, just to let you know, ladies and gents, I want his gun. <laughs> it's a caustic weapon if ever I've seen one. Uh, there is a ammo vendor up here. And downstairs, when he opens the door now. Well, Mickey Zafford opens his door down here. There is a gun vendor down there as well, which we'll take a quick look at. Make sure we're not missing any uh, any good SMGs. Why loot the dead when you can buy from me? Yeah. Bad guys and new one, huh? right, we've got to pick up these explosives by holding the X, as I explained before. It picks up all four. In one go. Saves a bit of time. Right, so now we've got to go to the racetrack. This is really back and forth, this, uh, this mission. Because now we've got to go back to where we just were. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you outside. Yeah, so... Uh, I still look green, even though... Oh. Um, we've got to go back... All the way back now to the racetrack where we just were. And we've got to sabotage the uh, race. See, I, I thought so. Do you know what? I started to question myself there. I thought they went out, the lights, when you opened the dumpsters. And then I thought, hang on, Rob. You might be making yourself look like a right idiot here. Uh, sorry, I know this isn't important, but I'm just going to make sure I'm not losing my mind. There you go, ladies and gents, you can see. That is open. That is still lit. Anyway. <laughs> back to the important stuff. <laughs> yeah, so we got to go back there now, and there'll be a race taking place, and we have to sabotage it. So it's uh, pretty easily done. Let's just check with this vendor. Always on the lookout for SMGs. That is a... Uh, a decent sh uh, shotgun there. A 
just the damage isn't great. 66 times 10 compared to what am I rocking at the moment on mine? 66 times 10 compared to 180 times 14. Yeah, then. just a little bit better. Check this one. Oh no, tiny shields. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Right, I'll see you back at the dust. Okay. Let's get another vehicle. You'll notice now, ladies and gents, because we've spawned back at uh, the dust, the box isn't there. Because it basically it will spawn every time you come here. So it'll be somewhere else on the map. Now, one of the spawn places... Not there. <laughs> It's just over here. I'm hitting everything, I do apologise. My one of the spawn places is just there, which it's not. Um, I'm not going to show you, I'll show you the other spawn places at different times. Uh, at a different time, I mean. Uh, I'm not going to show it now, because um, it could be the very far end of the map, so. So we need to drive in here. Now there's a challenge up ahead, which I will show you. Uh, Kai, who's part of the uh, Lattice Gaming team, um, for some reason can never get this challenge. Uh, he's, do he's done exactly what I'm about to do now, but it never comes up for him. Now, uh, whether he's got it since the last time we tried it, but for some reason the challenge never comes up for him, which I don't understand. And I've witnessed him do exactly what I'm about to do. And yet it never came up. So basically what you've got to do is go around the track. I think it's either in the quickest time possible. I think it's in less than a minute. Uh, there are a couple of shortcuts. I'll show you them. I'm just going to blast through it. And then when we come over the start-finish line, it will come up with a challenge. Or fingers crossed it should do. So here we go. As soon as we go through here, I'm going to pass the boost. So you just want to come around here. This is the track. A little bit of a shortcut here if you just cut around this corner. Boost again. Okay. And then when you come up around this corner, there's a big shortcut, which is around here. Okay. And then across the bridge over the start finish line. And typical. It didn't come out. <laughs> Everything is working out today, ladies and gents. No money from the teddy bear at uh, the Holy Spirits. Uh, no challenge for going around this in the quickest time possible. Oh, no, I know, actually, I say quickest time possible. I think it's an, an under a minute. Well, we're not going to get it now. How typical is that? There you go. But uh, basically, that's what you do. And when you cross the start finish line, you get a uh, a challenge. And I said it. I'll show you which one it is now. You have to go down to the dust for this. Bear with me, ladies and gents. We're ahead on time anyway, so. Uh, gotta go past all these and just find the dust. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if I've shown this before. These are your challenges. This. You know, these are the different challenges you've got for uh, all the different areas. So. Find the dust. Uh, uh, because it's the dust, it actually comes under T. It is the dust. And that's it there. If you're not first, you're last. Complete the Hodug Speedway within the time limit. I don't know what the time limit is. It's probably wrong just somewhere. I've done it many... Every other time I've done it, it's given me the challenge, ladies and gents. It's just so bloody typical. This time, just like the teddy bear and the Holy Spirit, every other time I've spanned that bloody teddy bear, money's come out of it. And now all of a sudden, no. Right, so you have to put the dynamite that you picked up earlier on these boxes. Double checking all the fireworks. That's cool, man. I already done that. Thanks, though. So that guy that was just speaking to us is that guy up there. Now that the dynamite's ready, head up to where the Hodunks got their pyrotech set up. It'll be a great place to watch the destruction. And then we've got to come up here. No witnesses. Unfortunately, he's gonna die. Check this. Pick it up. Nice, nice sniper. Very nice sniper. Right, let's pause that a sec. What's my current sniper? 432. 
And the one I've just picked up is 710. Calipine, they're great. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mark that one to keep, mark that one to sell. Right, so, there's normally a weird sort of glitch on this game where I'm going to press this button now and then three cars will start racing. In fact, they've already started racing. You can see. You watch, they'll come around at the... S no. There's normally one that lags really far behind. And when you blow up the bridge... It should be a case of they all come across the bridge at the same time. So when you blow the bridge, they all explode. And it just never happens. Look, look how far the other two are behind. So... I can, see, they'll do that. And then I've always... Uh, shoot that last one myself. But normally when they start off, the car at the back lags really far behind. Anyway... Before we go from here, something else I want to show you. You just pop over here. Jump down behind this. Vault symbol. There's one of the three vault symbols in this area. And when we come across when it comes time to, you know, discovering the other two. I will show you where they are. I just need to remember, is there any loot by here? No, there's just a little bit of ammo, which we'll check. Nope. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Back to Ellie. We'll leave the car there. Normally I'll take the car, but, yeah, balls to it. We'll leave it there for the time being. Just hoof it across all these. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Right, because there's 18 minutes left on the timer, I can tell that these vendors are just replenished. Here you go. Oh, see? This is why you check. So, what's the one I'm using at the moment? 76. Fantastic. Okay, the accuracy's worse. You know, you lose 5% five five accuracy. But you're gaining 6% damage. So, buying that. And then, uh, what am I doing? Whipping that. Marking that up as a keeper. Selling the other one. Sell that as well. That can go. Ta-da. Job done. Oh, sorry. One thing I didn't check. Nope. No better shields. <laughs> now, no doubt a band of vehicles gonna come along in a second. Try and kill us. Grenade and I have. Uh -oh. Man, I wish I had the fastball. Oh, it's the caravan. Ooh. Go and check this out, ladies and gents. Oh, he's on me. There you go. Right, so he stopped over here now. So we can now loot the, um, the chest he has on the back of the caravan. Hopefully we won't have trouble jumping up on the back of it. Sometimes this glitches out and it makes it very hard to do so. Go. Melee damage. Shield capacity. Not enough damage. It was worth checking. So we just run over here, turn this in, and that's going to be the end of the episode. Killing that though. That's good XP. Just check what they dropped. Uh, we'll take it a cell.
Okay. Just pop that on. So that when we come back in... I mean, we'll come back in at full health anyway, but... Let's talk to Ellie. After this red harvest between the two clans, you're... 269, 263, my god, it's really not much difference. Yep. You know, for the sake of that many, uh... That many dollars, I don't really care which one I take. Right, our health is just regened fully, so we can pop that back on. Let's check. When we come back, there will be another... I mean, there's that mission that we have, which is the story mission, but as you can see, the uh, exclamation mark has just popped up over there. Which is all part of the Zo um, uh, Zafford and Hodunk uh, war. So we might carry on that. We might go to Opportunity and see what's happening there. So uh, e anyway, either way, that's it. That's the end of the episode. Uh, you know, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Uh, if there's any uh, questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. And as always, feel free to subscribe. And if you do, please go ahead, press that little bell icon, and I'll keep you up to date with all the latest Assassin's Gaming videos. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. My name is Rob. Until the next episode, take care.